Carly McCord and James Harrelson live from Tuscaloosa post game LSU versus Alabama. LSU's first loss of the season tonight, and it wasn't a close game by any means, James. It was definitely um, a huge standout performance by the Crimson Tide. What were some of your biggest takeaways from the LSU side of the ball that you think really cost them the game this evening? Well, I think, Carly, we first need to give credit to Alabama. They came in with just an incredible game plan. You know, up to this point, defenses really haven't been able to find a way to stop Leonard Fournette. And Alabama was able to really dominate the the off, the uh, the offensive line of LSU and get through to them through to Leonard Fournette and really just – halting a, a performance from him. He uh, walks away with 19 attempts, 31 yards, one touchdown. Um, really, for the majority of the game, I, I think that his longest run was four yards. I have to go back and check the stats on when that – when that – when he had a longer run than four yards, but I mean, think about that. A majority of the game, that's your biggest run is four yards. That's incredible, and it's just something that you know, if you're an LSU fan, you're not used to seeing from from Leonard Fournette. I think at times LSU opened up the passing game, which I thought was something that they needed to do, and I was very impressed with that. But I think it all kind of begins and ends at the line of scrimmage. And if, you know, if Alabama wasn't stopping LSU on a run, they were rushing the passer and putting tremendous pressure on the passer. So uh, I, I think, you know, if you're, if you're LSU, it's a very difficult loss to swallow. And, and, you know, all losses are not easy. I mean, I'm not saying that. But to lose it in this manner where you're just outplayed from beginning to end really stings for the Tigers. And it should be interesting to see how they rebound from tonight. You mentioned Fournette. Obviously, he was, you know, a huge Heisman hopeful going into this game, and and I believe personally that he still is, you know, in the in the race very strongly. Probably still number one. Do you think this game had any major effect on his Heisman run? Well, I think it put Derrick Henry on the map, and I think that the discussion of the Heisman is probably expanded just a little bit. But I mean, he. Here's the important thing to realize, and I was looking in the huddle tonight, and, and there were some people who were off the Fournette bandwagon, and I think that's just psycho babble. I think that I just think that that's borderline stupid. Um, no, Fournette, I think is still in, in the Heisman uh, discussion. I, I think that he'll still get an invitation. You have to remember, it's the entire season, the body of work. Now. This occurred on a big national stage in prime time, but I don't think that it hurts Fournette's Heisman chances. I just think that it puts a bigger spotlight on Derrick Henry. Obviously, Alabama has proven to be the team that we all were shocked to see even lose to Ole Miss because of how well they played tonight. And one of the things in Nick Saban's post-press conference was they asked him, you know, how much better is this team than the team that played against Ole Miss? And he said, they're not. He said, I think that the game just happened to go differently. You know, like they're same, same players, same talent. It was just executed differently on the field. Now, um, college football play playoff rankings came out this week. LSU is number two. Alabama's number four. Um... Obviously, Alabama will probably stay in there and move up, even possibly. Do you think LSU stays in there with one loss on the season? Because Alabama got in there with one loss on the season. Do you think they stay in there, or do you think they fall out of the top four completely because of the poor performance that they put on tonight in Tuscaloosa? I can see LSU dropping out uh, on Tuesday from the, the playoffs, from the top four. I think what's very important to realize, though, is that you can still get in the playoffs with just one loss. And I know that LSU fans don't want to hear that right now. They just want to, you know, mail the season in the bag and everything. But I, I think it's true. And so I think if you're LSU, you want to just win out the rest of the season. And, you know, who knows? I mean, there's still going to be some teams that lose that aren't supposed to lose. There's going to be some shakeup in the top four. So uh, you never know. But I, I think that come Tuesday, I would be surprised to see LSU still in the top four. Moving forward, LSU still continues to have a tough schedule. They have Arkansas at home. They have Texas A&M at home, but Ole Miss uh, in Oxford. How important is it to win out for them? And who do you think is going to be the hardest, toughest matchup? I mean, we saw Arkansas knock off Ole Miss today. Who do you think is going to be the hardest matchup of those three games? And how possible do you think it is for LSU to win out? 
Well, I'll, I'll start with the team that you just brought up, the Arkansas Razorbacks. I think that that's the toughest team on LSU's Always. schedule right now. And the reason that, uh, of it is they usually occur – that game usually falls a week after the Alabama game, okay? So depending on how the Alabama game goes, usually – LSU is up to play Arkansas if they're coming off of a win against Alabama. And conversely, if they lose to Alabama, usually a lot of their dreams and goals are shot. I mean, you can just you can see, see that in the body language. Mm-hmm. I go back to 2014. Um, you know, LSU loses a close, heartbreaking game to Alabama in Tiger Stadium. Uh, the next week, they lose 17-zip to Arkansas. Now, you can't honestly tell me that that Arkansas team is talented enough to to shut out opponents. No, LSU mailed that one in. So going into this game this weekend, yeah, I'm a little worried. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little concerned here because LSU has shown us that they blow their wad on the Alabama game and Arkansas either upsets them or gives them a really close game. And you can expect that. One week from tonight in Tiger Stadium, a close game with Arkansas. Going to be a big matchup. Um, final score tonight, 30-16. Crimson Tide on top. LSU is now a one-loss team going into a very tough opponent, like we said, against Arkansas, and then followed by Ole Miss and Texas a and uh, It will be interesting to see how things play out for the season. Live from Tuscaloosa, I'm Carly McCourty's at James Harrelson for 104.5, 104.9 ESPN Baton Rouge.